uh, thank you, Rob, for taking the time to speak to us. Um, can you tell us a little bit about uh, the band name and how it uh, originated? Um, we were called White Rabbit, and um, that sort of stuck for a few years. But after that, um, we, we kind of changed style and become more. Um, uh, I don't know. The, the name didn't reflect what we did anymore. Um, we were kind of much more, much slicker than we were before, and um, uh, we kind of wanted the name to reflect that. And um, uh, the idea behind the name was that everyone else, all our mates, had gone to uni and followed an automatic path. So the name was kind of an ironic reference to the fact that we had. Except in reality, it just sounded cool, and we came up with the name uh, the reason later. <laughs> so, yeah. How did you guys all meet? Um, I've known our guitarist since uh, we were about four or five. Um, so uh, we just went to school together, and then uh, yeah, you and the drummer joined our school when we were about eleven. Because um, we all grew up in quite a small town, there was nothing else to do. So when we were sort of under twelve or thirteen, we started saying, "Yeah, we're a band." And then we learned to play instruments and actually followed through on it. So we were always like, you know, the, the school band, but uh, we actually kind of carried on beyond that. And then um, uh, Penny, who has left now, um, joined when we were in sixth form, I think. And because we wanted to do more than we could with the number of hands we had, we started turning up. And, you know, he had the right energy and everything. And uh, after he left, then we got Paul in from uh, your colleagues, Milo, because. Uh, Milo had gone on hiatus, which is like splitting up without really saying you split up. <laughs> and uh, uh, the um, uh, and Paul didn't really know what he was doing with himself, and we hadn't started looking for new members. But we'd met him um, when we did a collaboration on an album called Printer's Dead that Milo put together. Um, so we sort of knew him anyway, and a mutual friend suggested he join us, and kind of uh, that's how we got to where we are now. <laughs> um, you know, your album Tear the Signs Down came out beginning of the week. Uh, what is your favourite song off the album? Um, the one I really liked, the way it came out, was um, "Race to the Heart of the Sun." It's like, it's quite you know quite hard edge, but it's like um, it's kind of like stomp along. Um, I like the lyrics as well. There was a bit, a bit of a sort of sci-fi edge to them as well, which I quite oh, yeah. enjoy. Sort of uh, appeals to my nerdy side. <laughs> Uh, can you tell us a little bit about the recording process? Yeah, it was quite protracted. Um, we spent the whole of 2009 writing and recording the album because this is a fix that had been sort of abandoned by the label, so we were unexpectedly twiddling the thumbs. We got out of that deal because they just hopeless. And um, with, in all our spare time, we were just writing and, and doing demos, but to quite a high standard. So they all ended up going on the record. I mean, they just basically really developed demos. Um, and. Uh, we, we spent a lot of time swapping around as well. It was all written and recorded in our manager's studio in Cardiff, which is where we have, we ended up doing all the other records anyway. So it, it just made sense, really. You know, just we always end up going <laughs> into this place uh, every time anyway. So we just started the process there as well. And um, uh, yeah, it was quite a lot of experimentation, I think, because we had no real uh, boundaries as to what we could do. We had no time limit on writing songs, and we had no label saying. You need singles. You need singles, boys. And then, so you know, we just wrote what we wanted to, and something came out and turned out to be good singles anyway. So that's, uh, that's why we got signed in the first place. I think you know, but um, we pretty much had the album done by the time we realised we wanted to just release it ourselves because it was the easiest option. Well, it was the best option for staying in control of our own music anyway. Um, so yeah, it was it was quite a relaxed process actually, but even. Having said that, with the level of creativity that we always operate at, the stuff that we wrote at the beginning of the year just completely forgotten about by the end of the year. And um, there was a song that we wrote a couple of weeks before we finished recording got on the records, and that was uh, Tear It Down. So, um, yeah, it's, uh, it was uh, a, a quite a long process, <laughs> very long and involved. Yeah, uh, no, all bands all have their unique uh, songwriting <coughs> process. What, what is yours? Um, we go into a room together and jam, and the music comes first. And basically, we'll stop. If someone says, "Oh, that sounds good," then we can try and work out stuff around one piece of music, uh, one one riff or idea that we've got. And um, um, it used to be that that would be written, and then I'd, I'd go away and then just try and get a tune to go over that and, and write the lyrics separately. But these days, we kind of like jammed melodies, like vocal melodies as well. Especially since Paul is doing, because he's always done that with Rico and as Milo, um, and then yeah, usually I'll tidy up the lyrics afterwards. Um, so it's still yeah, it's a very natural process, and it really just comes out of spontaneity. The whole thing. Okay. Um, which is cool. Yeah. And uh, you're on tour at the moment, promoting your new album. Uh, how's it going so far? 
Great, actually. All the gigs have been um, really well attended and um, people have received it really, really well. Since we started selling the record and tour as well, that sold really, really well. So people are obviously liking what they hear. Yeah, that's good. Um, yeah, so it was really nice to be out on the road again in a tour bus. We haven't done that for about a year and a half. It's been ages. So, um, yeah, it's been fantastic, really. Um, uh, we're having a lot of fun with it. It's, it's more intense schedule than we're used to doing as well. We were just trying to get into many rehearsals in the short time as possible. We only, we only started on the, uh, uh, on the third and we're already on our 10th um, date now. It's been busy. Yeah. Um, on the subject of tours, do you, you've obviously you've talked a lot about your previous albums. Um, what is the craziest thing a fan has done to you or anything that you've seen? Um, there was a gig, um, I always tell this story, but we, um, we played in Brighton and we came on stage uh, for the encore in just our boxer shorts. Um, just because it was boiling, we were just like, oh my god, back in the boxer shorts. Like, all right, let's actually do it. And then we said, said to the crowd, all right, we're going to run into the sea after the, after the show. Come with us, and about 100 people ran into the sea with us on the Brighton Seafront, which was uh, that was pretty cool. Yeah. There's a uh, mass hysteria. <laughs> uh, as I said, we um, let uh, like our readers send in their questions by like Twitter and email. One of the questions we got was from a Twitter user, Jimmy Baseline. Uh, who's the girl in the recover video, and is she taken? Recover video. Which one? <laughs> so more than one. Yeah, we had. Three yeah, we had three recovery. The one with the girl on the, on the bench. Um, yeah, okay, that was the very first one. Um, I have no idea. <laughs> she was just someone that the um, the video company who made it knew. Um, I, I, I don't think we ever even met her, <laughs> to be honest. So yeah, I don't know. Uh, finally, what is the future for the automatic? Well, once we've done this tour, it's just getting as much promotion in as possible. And if we can, if we can um, support some bigger fans, I think we'd quite like to do that and steal a few fans. Okay. Um, we, you, uh, we've been looking at uh, the possibility of that. Hopefully, we get a few festivals in the summer. Um, everything's still quite up in the air. It's all kind of being organised at the moment. Um, but yeah, I think getting on to the next album as fast as possible as well, because we're doing it ourselves now. Um, we've, we've got to do things in a much sort of smaller way than we could before, which is fun to be honest. I, I like being involved at every level, which I, I, you know, we weren't when, when there was a major label running things. Um, but uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's just keep doing as much as possible all the time really. Okay. That's brilliant, thank you very much. Okay.